Hey peoples, December vlog time. I'm really sorry, due to the madness of last month, I missed November's vlog, but I will eventually catch up with it. Before I go any further though, thank you ever so much to those that have subscribed over the last year, those that are still watching from years before. I hope you're still learning little bits, you're still picking up bits of information off me. And that's all I ask. Please don't be afraid if there's anything you want to see, anything you want to hear, and you think I can do it, whack something in the comments section below and I'll be on it for you. Before I go any further again, by the time you, this goes out, it may be a little bit late, it's gonna be the middle of December. The reason being is I'm having trouble with my internet connection, so uploading is a real hassle at the moment. But the first one is a warning. You're gonna be busy over Christmas, you're gonna be working Friday, Saturday, Sunday, hopefully Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as well, but, if that's happening to you, do not be tempted to leave your kit in your cars or in your vans. Don't do it, really don't do it. Because if anything happens, you're not gonna find out until it's too late. The next morning, when you go out, you'll find everything's missing, you call your insurance, and nine times out of 10, insurance companies won't cover your kit if it is in your vehicle overnight and unattended. So, just a word of warning, don't do it. It's the silly season and the drunks are out there. They, they're just gonna see the sign on the side of the van and think, hey, game. They do daft things when they've had a few beers. That's what happens. So please, 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 just don't leave your kit in your van. As I've said, a big thank you to those that have subscribed. We're gonna be doing a little bit more on YouTube next year. Hopefully I'll be firing in a couple of times a month with top tips which is things i found that have worked, nuggets of information I've picked up off people in the past, and also things that I see around me that I like the idea of. So that'll start in the new year. And the other one that I've been promising, the titles have gone up on YouTube, and I, I haven't had a chance to do anything with it, there is just so much to cover, is this. <laughs> Okay, so in that one, what I'm looking to do is try and pass on as much information as I can to you in tiny bite-sized nuggets, like I said. Two to three minute videos, hopefully. Some things are gonna take a little bit longer to cover, but two to three minute videos, so you can watch what you need to, what you want to learn. In there, I'm looking at everything from weapons of choice, i.e. from computers, choice on monitors, choice of projector, choice of projector over monitor, cabling to use, how to hook up, right the way up to, hopefully, editing your own music videos. That's right, putting those personal touches onto the music videos that makes you different to everybody else. The true meaning of VJ. Coming up on the end of this one also is a gig log. You shocked? Yes. I know, I haven't done a gig log in ages, a few people have asked me about it, so I was at one particular gig where I could get a camera out, I could film, it was a charity booking, it was for the tornado in the Philippines, and to be honest with you, the group that was in there, it was very small numbers, it didn't quite work for them, but it was small numbers and they had an absolute ball, they really enjoyed it, so there'll be some video footage and a couple of photos from there on the end of this. Next thing to think about is your investment for next year. I know, I know, it's next year, but would you believe it's only 30 days away? That's right. So, January, it's downtime. Perfect time, if you're going to, to update gear. Use the money from Christmas, update the gear. You can then rehearse with it, test it, before you go out and find out it's not gonna work or it's not quite set up properly, or you're not used to it, you're not giving your 100% best. So 
that's a perfect thing to do in January. The other thing to do right now is take a look at bridal fairs. Bridal fairs are a lot of people's client base for the next 12 months. Brides aren't booking 12 months, two years in advance. They're going to a bridal fair in February, March time and booking for that June or July. It, it, I know, the entertainment's one of the most important things at a wedding, but they leave it till the last minute. We're always an afterthought. That's your time to get in. And don't go in there with a huge kit and set up and, it, no. If you can, an iPad, even better, a big monitor or screen, and just loop through some of the setups you've done, some photographs, some live video, loop it through so people can see what they get. Talk to the people, don't be afraid. They're not gonna book there and then, but talk to the people. If you talk to them, then they will call you back. It's better than somebody that just stood there behind kit and playing some music to them. Honestly, best way to do it. But hey, until next year, I'm gonna leave you with a gig log and I hope to see you all soon. Take care. The evening started with a very generously donated firework display and we moved on inside to the dancing section of the evening. During the night there was a lot of modern jive that was requested by people. We held a charity auction and also the good old raffle. It was a fantastic gig to be honest with you. It made me open my eyes a lot to music that was requested. Uh, modern jive, I wouldn't even have thought of some of the songs that they came up and asked for and danced to. It slowed down towards the end of the night but didn't peter out until gone half past 12 and so a good evening was had by all. Thank you.